Heaven I I too. All right, this is the part the part two to the video I just did. Um, pretty much protenuating or protenuing um, the whole transition or growth of Seagold as a movement, and also how Nikosi Baba was pretty much used or is being used by what what most of us will collectively call God. Or in Jamaica, we say Ja, or the Muslims will say Allah, or different languages have a different way of calling this higher power. I'm being used. I'm not doing things that I actually wanted to do. Um, some people will try to demonize me and say I'm being used by some traumatic ancestral or demon or monster or whatever people can try to make me out to be. I pray for those people to 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 truly um see me for what I am truly because I don't I I'm not bothered by what people say. I'm never bothered about why what and 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 how people can view me. I'm not bothered. I'm more so I'm a caring person in the sense that I I don't I don't want people to to view me in a way that that's not actually me because that was never my intention and if it turned into that I hold myself accountable because, as I said, I have that same experience in the system, in the hood, um, whatever the case may be. Now, even though I was used by God to be in the hood, to be that tool or example, like, hey, look at Nikosi. He'd been through all this. He could have made it and made millions of dollars and could have been a, a recording artist. He has a nice little voice. Uh, he could have signed deals and you know, the regularly scheduled program or how most black guys, they want to go be basketball players. They want to go be rappers, singers, uh, drug dealers. I did every single thing black people do in America. Um, and it wasn't necessarily even because I actually wanted to. I noticed that I was actually just flowing. It was just a spirit that was like, wait, no. You see, some people are choosing to, to kind of like do a difference in their journey. They're choosing something different. Um, I'm not choosing none of this that's happening. This is literally spirit-led. It's kind of similar to how Rastas, a lot of them couldn't even explain or give you a real true explanation as to how they just shifted and came with these, these um, revelations in their journey. Like when Rasta first came out in Jamaica, I'm talking about forward i'm talking when i'm talking like 1930s 1920s when like slavery was it abolished or was it still kind of like i'm i'm talking about when we were still on farms and like rastas is just starting to form as some like spiritual rebellion to the status quo nobody knew how these rastas were just flowing and being invoked with their their consciousness. Nobody can put a finger on it. That's literally what I've been through. And why? Because I'm cut from that same cloth. I'm cut from the same cloth as the same pioneers to that Rasta movement. The Rasta movement, which now is viewed as a religion. Um, it's a movement. It, it was intended to be a movement of God's people. Um, so, upon me being used by God. Nikosi also accumulated scars living in the system. And I have to let this be known because there's people that I am influencing and I, obviously people can see, okay, he's, he's powerful in his own right. Um, I'm actually, I will even say that Nikosi Baba is actually one of the most powerful humans on earth. And that's why I have to be censored on the internet because what I'm saying and what I stand for in the spirit that's leading me is beyond me. So I can't even say, let me, matter of fact, let me say it this way. I'm not the illusion of me being the powerful person on earth. God is the most powerful thing in the universe. Meaning that spirit, that spirit, that the, the source of all life. That's the most powerful thing one can even fathom. So if that's what's leading me, not if, that is what's leading me. I don't have nothing to prove to nobody. People can say I'm, I'm possessed, this, that. Listen, a house divided against itself can't stand. Um, the one that's free in souls and doing more good than harm. 
you know, who knows it feels it. Um, the truth is setting captives free. And big up to the persons that actually truly received what has been shared through me. And to the ones that don't fully understand what's being shared or what's been shared. I pray for you to have more clarity and more livernment, discernment, and to process what exactly is this guy saying? What is his intention? Why is he even still pressing record on the camera? What the heck is Nikosi talking about? What's the whole point? The whole point is I want to see the earth be what the earth is intended to be. And it's not even that I want to see it. It's actually just going to happen whether we like it or not. And I don't want to see some of the, the souls that have the capacity to be a part of that uh, way of life that, that, that God needs on earth. I don't want to see them stuck. So persons like me just simply want to put the message there in hopes that whoever needs it or whoever finds it it can just serve as some little reminder for them. I don't need you to look at me as your God or to look at me as your spiritual father or to start being like obsessed with me. I don't need that. Um, some persons will view me as being on some kind of ego trip because I'm calling myself Nikosi Baba. My name is literally Nikosi. Nikosi is just another way, word for God in different African cultures. Baba is actually a name that was given to me by my own children. So I just took that and said, wait, my name is Nikosi Baba. That's not like a, a, a ego trip. It's just simply my name, Nikosi Baba, Godfather. Um, and some would say, why do you get to be the Godfather? Um, that's just a spirit that's leading my life. So I'd rather be called by my father my spiritual essence, um, my highest I, my highest self, as some will call it nowadays, um, led by Jah. You get what I'm saying? So it's no different than when you see some Rastas call themselves uh, Ras Jah, or <laughs> what some Rastas call themselves, they be like um, Ras Jani, uh, Ras Bobo, um, Jah Lidge, um, <laughs> Jah son, like stuff like that, like God's son, um, or Jah father. Um, some just call themselves literally Selassie, like the because Rastas would see Selassie as their their messenger or their their god, so they would call themselves after their god, um, or how Christians will call themselves um, Christians after who their god will be, which is Jesus Christ. So they're calling themselves. Jesus is like they're just not saying Jesus they're calling themselves Christ's Christians um, so pretty much because I'm a listener or I'm submitting to that source that I believe in and that I trust in and that I provide in I said I'm gonna call myself I'm just gonna add Baba to my name my name was already Nikosi this is not like a new name I'm calling myself that's a name actually given to me from my father and mother now, it just works perfectly for my journey. Nikosi Baba. Now, some would then view me as ego-driven because I then also use a title as his, his heavenly majesty. Um, my intention for calling myself his heavenly majesty is because I want to promote heaven. I want to like, I don't want to call myself... Uh, Hellcat, or <laughs> what are names people would say with hell? Like, for example, you have a lot of people on the internet nowadays, they calling themselves, um, or they're using this little meme thing. They be like, I'm on demon time. Or you ever heard something like that? People saying like, I'm on demon time. Or um, like there's this, this new thing. Maybe a couple of y'all gonna know what I'm talking about. But the internet be saying like, I'm on demon time. I need a sneaky link and I'm on demon time. I'm... I'm, I'm on my demon vibe. So that's like cool and it's a fad, but like it gets viewed as, okay, Nikosi's in over his head. He's calling himself his heavenly majesty. And then some would just say, I can't call myself that because I'm not righteous. People think I'm not righteous. But this is how this, the game goes. This is, I'm not like special, by the way, because 
the person that most people on earth, because because Christianity is the most populous religion on earth. A lot of people are Christians. The people that Christians believe in, which will be Jesus Christ, he was actually spoken against by many people. Many people. They would say, you are not who you are, and it's fine. So me telling you that I actually literally think and know that I'm actually sent by God, and I'm even letting it be known and I'm documenting it, um, and I'm being used by God for the greater good of humanity to do good on earth, to have heaven on earth, not to die and then have some salvation, salvation now. If I'm promoting that, that's no different than Jesus Christ or no different than even, let's say, Haile Selassie. No different than Prophet Muhammad. No different than the Buddha. No different than native humans who want to live a peaceful existence on earth with nature. Um... My intention is is not to, to to make it look like I'm more grand than you. If I call myself his heavenly majesty, it's actually to remind other brethren like, yo, you are royal and you are a heaven sent gift from the most high. And it's actually a very powerful title to call yourself because then it can carry that energy and promote that energy in your life. So it's no different than persons that have names like blessing heaven there's people people name their children heaven you know that right heaven people will name their children um joy <laughs> rest in peace to my aunt joy and i know that she's watching me big up to that specific ancestor please continue to watch me and protect me and keep the bad vibes away and i love you for eternity joy big up to my auntie um, but yeah, so people give titles or names to things. Does th does everything have to be looked at as as egotism? And then even the idea of ego, ego being one's view of themselves. Is that a negative thing if I view myself in a heavenly light? I know that I'm heaven sent. I've written it in my lyrics, not even written, I've freestyled it. It's just pouring out of me. The messages that's coming from me is not, it's, these things are ordained. The way my whole journey went, the way I incarnated, born on the third month, the 13th day, 1993, that alone to the, to the ones that actually could cite, yo, nothing is by accident. Everything is by design. People talk about death by design. What about life by design? Everything is by the design from that higher power. So, you know, everybody's going to play their position, though. I'm not angry at people that that try to be the opposition. Um, I'm not, I don't hate you. I do dislike um, foolishness and, and things that aren't the full hundred um, and to the ones that's watching this, you know what I'm saying? Like the full hundred is like, you can say things or you can try to demonize me, but it says everything more about you. I don't want to demonize nobody. Um, if I ever made you feel like I'm demonizing you, pardon self. I apologize. I want to more so focus on what we can do on earth now to actually just live. Just wake up and live. Like, what else is there to talk about? Why? You see, we've been through so much as a people <laughs> that we're actually used to just fighting with each other. We're used to just being crabs and not just swimming in the ocean. We rather just stay in that barrel and fight each other. Um, and then when there's one crab that's a little bit stronger than the other, they start to think that the one that's too strong or stronger or that makes it out of the barrel, they tend to think that, okay, this crab that made it out the barrel, he has an issue. He's actually, he's... He has a brain issue. He has a mental illness. 
um, just because he's a little bit different. Um, and you know, another thing I do want to put on this documented uh, vlog, this vlog. I like the word vlog. I'm about to start using that. Um, another thing I want to put on this vlog is that the the shitstem, the Babylon shitstem, they have a term and a label for everything. They have a term and a label for anything that can be rebellious to the system. That is why before I even left the United States, spiritually made an exodus. They already had me on government watch list in the United States. They have titles such as black extremists, this, that, whatever the case may be. Anything that goes against the grain or, or anyone that could have some type of uh, capacity or ability to influence, they know they got, they could put by the push of a button. That is why there's literally just a few who are algorithmically still seeing this, see, seeing this. Um, and then one might think, then why still record if you know you're being watched, if you know you're only reaching 10% of who's actually subscribed to the channel, um, why still keep on vlogging? Um, your channel already amassed over uh, 60,000 views. Your interviews have 50,000 views, 10,000, 20,000. Um, so on the internet in totality with your message, you reached over 150,000. Why are you still on the internet, Nikosi? There's a certain point for that when I first started, there's a certain point that I said I must get to before I actually stop. And that's why lately I've been saying that I'm almost off of the internet because I'm almost at that point. So to the people that are just tired of seeing me, don't worry. You won't see me no more. Um, but for now, I still got some messages. So I'm going to be annoying y'all. I know y'all going to make different videos about me. Y'all going to... Uh, speak about me and try to throw dirt on my name is no problem. Um, I have a couple more videos I need to do um, because there are some important messages that have to be said, especially right now, because we're on a very, very big shift. I did a video, a couple videos previous where I'm talking about a shift. It's a big, big spiritual shift. And it's very vital to just be that brother, that family member, that... that um, brethren, that um, father figure, that spiritual reminder to pretty much let that soul just like, it's good to, it's very important to be self-motivated, but not everybody's self-motivated. I hope for everyone to grow in their self-motivation, though for the ones that's not fully there yet, no problem. That doesn't make you less than, that's why you have persons that can be a motivator. That's why there's people online like motivational speakers. That's why in the world they have like churches and pastors and preachers and not every pastor are not every pastor or preacher is a bad person by the way. I know a lot of people get woke and they want to leave the church and they start thinking every pastor and preacher is a bad person. That's not true. Um not everybody online with a a spiritual uh message is a bad person. Not every movement is a bad movement. Not every tribe is a bad tribe. Not every country on earth is a bad country. Like the people, the, the actual people themselves. The issue that we have as humans is that it's not that people are bad people. It's that a lot of us, myself included, we had bad experiences. So these experiences leave little remnants and it could be a little like it could leave a bad taste in some people's mouths maybe there's some things about me that leave bad taste in your mouth not everybody's gonna resonate with Nikosi. some people are tired of hearing me speak already i seen a comment one time on my interview um i did an interview on a radio station and somebody commented <laughs> they was like yo this nigga is still alive that's that's man and they, they and you people be trying to say i'm evil um, and we don't got to go into what's evil and what's good or whatever. It's just like, damn, I don't, 
I don't, you know, yeah. I pray for them. I pray for them. It was like, and I've even seen comments saying things like, why is he in Africa? Why are they still letting him be there? And you see, people like that is the ones that would try to get me killed. Just like Midnight. You know the reggae artist Midnight, Aki Beka, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Big up to the Rasta man. And more life. And I pray for just uh, his family to have more life and protection. And, um, you know, they, they took that king out. They killed him. And it just reminded me of the Bob Marley song. Where Bob Marley said, how long shall we kill our prophets? Or how long, no. How long shall they kill our prophets? While we stand aside and look. Some say it's just a part of it. They've got to fulfill the book. You know, because we we have to keep in mind that most people are Christians on earth. Or call themselves that. So most people, if that's the belief system of the majority, most people are going to try to manifest what their belief is. So the book, the Bible is going to be manifested whether people like it or not. Even the woke people that's trying to get out of church and throw dirt on the pastors and saying that pastors are just the pimp of the, the pulpit. What they call it? Pimp of the pulpit? Um, <laughs> whether you like it or not. The Bible is literally unfolding. The Quran, all of these things are unfolding. Um, because it's just the human experience, man. We are what we make. <laughs> we made ideas and our ideas are going to make us. Um, we're going to pretty much reap what we sowed. And yeah, man. So this video kind of turned into a slightly different uh, message, though it's still of value. And I will do another continuation to this video. I'm going to stop it here. Guide eye.